Talking about shoes, I remember I mentioned it yesterday about, you know, um, the return of sneakerheads. I feel as if, like, and maybe I'm starting this movement, but I'm going to I'm gonna push it forward. I think, you know, sneakerhead culture has has got to a point where of no return, really. I think StockX valuation recently of a billion-dollar company has maybe fueled the, that um, situation now. But I've got a feeling it's going to burst, like, all bubbles. It will eventually burst, and everyone trains will become worthless. And when they do... I will be laughing, not because I sense I get any kind of glee for people's failure, but because it will finally return to the point that I always liked. Right, sneakers were always cool to me, but now you know they've not become cool anymore because you know, you know, you know what? Yeah, that was the issue with sneakerheads back in the, even during like Nike talk days. No one's been known as a sneakerhead because sneakerheads you initially thought of the first picture that came to your mind were you know Filipino breakdancers who 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 weren't cool and probably still aren't cool now, but maybe it's changed because of those talent shows they have on TV and shit. And then the other thing you thought of were Nike Talk users, right? People who specifically just wore expensive trainers without any any consideration of their outfits. And if they did have a consideration of their outfits, it was always about matching every tone of the color. So if the shoe had a bit of blue and red and pink, they'd have to have a bit of a blue, red and pink on their t-shirt, a bit of a blue, red and pink on their hat, a bit of blue, red and pink on their belt. It was just a bit matchy, matchy McPherson, right? So not really something that I'm really into at all. But I'm hoping that soon with stock X evaluation going to a billion there's only one way it can go i'm not trying to wish any ill will on the company at all but you know it's only one way it can only go down from now on i don't think the street the, the street shop market is going to sustain as much as it has done over the years i don't think so it's going to eventually pop as all things do pop and when it does people might get to a point where they just start appreciating the trainers for what they are great trainers and maybe the brands will stop um pumping out because they've they've effectively shorted the market right by consistently pumping out like model after model after model after model after model model, right but now um maybe we'll see a return to that and one of the returns to that might signal to it would be the resurgence of the acg line right the nike acg line is probably one of their most under underused underutilized lines in the whole nike catalog they have so many amazing models the acg line itself all conditions gear has such an incredible story has so much scope towards it and um, it could encompass so many different sports or activities or people or ages or or colors or creeds that i really think it's an un- underused underused market but the only way they're going to recognize that is if people like you and i fans of sneakers start buying the shoes and one of the shoes that we could essentially start buying is this um first look at this retro of the nike air max acg air scram an amazing silhouette a bit stiff not the most you know flexible shoe in the world but in terms of just an all-round um walking shoe to go on a hike you know people say to go on hikes in la because i went i went to la um to go see the um the old future festival a couple of years ago and i went on a quote-unquote hike was essentially going up a hill in a park right it wasn't essentially a hike really but um a lot of that involves sometimes going off road right and wearing shoes like this is going to help you can go off road you can dust them down go go set a bar grab yourself a little drink and if you want to have a little boogie right an amazing model really i'm a big fan of them i think acgs are probably one of the only shoes out there in probably nike's catalog maybe apart from their vintage runners that look incredible with the short the shorter your shorts are i honestly swear to god like find any japanese magazine um that you can find especially japanese magazine maybe it's not a good example because most of the guys in there are japanese and they're fairly short so they make short shorts look amazing regardless what they wear but honestly, that street star picture of seeing a little Japanese kid, a little Japanese guy wearing a pair of amazing vintage um, ACGs with some really short Patagonia shorts with like a clever little t-shirt on, something that is a bit vintage but not too vintage and a nice little hat. It's just something that's kind of ingrained in my head. And ever since then, I've kind of been in love with ACGs and obviously, you know, the story, um, the collection, the idea behind it, the range of items from clothing to everything. I think they've done a good job recently. Um, I know Elson Hugh from um, Acronym was in charge of the creative direction for a little bit. But, you know, I think maybe as a whole segment, it probably needed him to come in and start developing maybe the ACG Tier Zero line, the kind of exclusive stuff that you could do. But I think as an overall, they were probably far better off doing what they're doing now, which is just going back into the archive and kind of re-releasing loads of stuff um, in contemporary colors and contemporary materials. Um, and that's been really successful, even though some of the stuff that Elson did for ACG was fucking sick. I really liked it. Um, it probably needed it to be a little bit of a, a separate thing from the whole ACG line. But so far, what they've done, I think it looks amazing. Um, these air scrams are really really nice a great colorway they're probably going to be available for a long time because people don't buy stuff but i'm hoping the more i speak about these kind of shoes and put shoes out and put out more shoes out there that people aren't really speaking about the more attention they'll bring and hopefully kids will start buying them just test test them out with your outfits right you don't need to always wear the same thing everyone's got the same shoes on let's 
mix things up a little bit and hopefully because the, essentially these, these brands and companies only listen to your dollars right so if you're investing your money into these shoes they're going to see that there's a market for it they're going to put more money into them and they're going to start retroing more shoes um if you keep buying air jordan ones uh jordan ones for instance retros they're going to keep making them right and then you know there's you can't complain when uh, a few of them are uh, come out and they've got shitty materials it's what you paid for um so yeah let's let's diversify our shoe trainer choices a little bit and see what we can do from there but yeah i'm a big fan of the shoe i think it looks really nice and before like a cream cream with navy um tones white midsole black outsole like you know clever shoe really um classic classic shoe big fan of it definitely going to check it out i think it's going to be out when later this month let's check the release date at the bottom here from high beast um july 5th so at the end of the, the end of the week you can be able to buy yourself a pair of air scram so again for 110 pounds uh, again something a bit different than what you usually have on most places on most stores and now hopefully too most other retail stores start buying different stuff as well man all sense um essence or whatever it's called um tres bien Dover Street Market, they all have the same fucking shoes. It's no different. Like, you know I mean, let's, inter let's kind of mix up the buying process. I know some of the brands don't allow you to do so, but I would like a bit more interesting selections. But, you know, you can only wish certain things. What else is next on the list for you guys? Uh, oh, this is nice. Nike Air Tempo Fusion. This is fucking buff, mate. Um, I'm not a fan of the Fusion stuff with the hybrid shoes. Um, actually, Heron Preston did a really good collaboration recently. He did an Air Max 95-97 I liked. I didn't really like the Pattern 95-BW. I thought that was butters. But these, again, I'm not sure if they're going to be for everybody. Again, please excuse my taste in shoes, but I'm trying to push things that aren't the conventional high piece um, silhouettes. But I really, really like these um, shoes. So these are the Nike Air Up Tempo Air Max 95s, right? So it's so an original Up Tempo with essentially um, fused together with, uh, you know, the classic um, Nike Air Max 95 neon green um, um, shoe that we all know and love. Um, interestingly enough, the other day um, when I was out at lunch um, in central London, I saw a dude wearing a pair of vintage, like old school, probably from like 97 or some shit, right? Um, Co.jp um, 95, which I'm, I'm surprised he was able to wear because most of the bubbles are burst when you wear them for any sustained period of time. But he had them with a pair of like neon, so with a pair of indigo selvage denim, rolled up, no socks just swagging down the street i thought oh they look so good and you could just tell from looking at them that they're vintage there's no he doesn't need to tell you he bought them a long time ago you just tell from the shape the tones the felt is a bit or the felt or whatever the suede is just a little bit softer than what they'd usually be like just beautiful 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 shoes right let's see if i can actually find a picture of them on here so i can show you guys nike air max 95 neon uh og right it's probably going to give me all the other shitty ones but i want the actual actual og you can see the difference in color uh where is it yeah there we go boom oh it's a really small picture in it but um this essentially is it right so that's the that's the og you see how fat that bubble is you see the kind of tones of the gray you see how it sits on the shoe even just without a shoe even without a foot in it because most shoes especially nike have that weird banana silhouette but it's even without a foot in it even without those kind of like shoe insert things people put to make them look flatter it looks just amazing great silhouette they could easily just retro these right with that same box um a kind of anniversary pair or celebration of the air max and just that's what they should do for air max day right just archive what every year archive one uh, iconic model from the air max range um remake it in the original because they always talk about the tour they went back in there super honestly nike are so annoying but they've got everyone by the balls adidas at least try like the the, the, the stan smith is amazing right the um, the stan smith campus they, or the stance or even the campus that they brought back right they made them in the 80s then now they're just like you know the general uh shape for the most part in the gr range is that kind of vintage silhouette but nike back in the day you always say oh we don't have the tooling or the manufacturer's process necessarily around to kind of make that kind of last you work right but no you don't like you have all the money in the world make it work like that there's a story with jay lorenzo recently with his fear of god ones right that he made he's supposed to have to take his last from italy and bring it down so he could get achieve the same the shape that he wanted man and jay lorenzo a one-man army right essentially make you know with a small with a, with a with a micro luxury brand right operating at highest level of course but you know it's a small operation compared to nike having to bring his own last to make a shoe with nike it's ridiculous right they should be able to recreate that last like in the blink of an eye man what the fuck is this you make fly white. you have flying it like why can't you remake a remake a last so that'll be sick for air max day right every year they just release one iconic air max in the original colorway 
individual materials with the original laughs, with the original silhouette, in the original box. So just just redo it. That's it. If you're gonna re- if you're gonna retro stuff, retro do it that way. But you know, what do 